Okay, let's see, we get it in focus there. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. I've got Babyface P here with me, my partner in crime. We are going to do a watch review video. Specifically, actually, we're going to review Watch Gang. I've been promising you guys this. Watch Gang, if you don't know, is a subscription service where you there's different price tiers. Uh, I chose the platinum price tier. Yeah. which is $2.99 a month. I think it starts at 30 and then there's one that's uh, 100 and then and then obviously the platinum is 300 excuse me. <clears throat> and people always ask the question, like, is this a good idea? Is a subscription service for a watch a good idea? What do you think, Babyface? Me? Fay? Yeah. No. Yeah, Babyface says no. Not a, I not says maybe. I think, I say maybe. Not even close. I say it could be. It could be. So what I decide, there's lots of people that have opinions on this baby face um, and and then they never even used it so I said you know what I'm gonna invest my money so that the people could find out that's right Let's, we'll see what's good and what's bad so we I got three watches from watch gang we got we have them here so the first month this is what came and this is a Swiss mil military Neptune and this is what came um, I think it's a good watch it's a rubber strap which I you you set up what you like when yeah. you do it. So you say like, you, do you like a metal bracelet? Do you like a rubber strap? Or do you like uh, leather? There's a theme to all of the straps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's based on me. Yeah. So, and, and uh, everything that comes is automatic. So this was automatic and it has obviously a bezel here that you can move around. You know, I like that out of it. It's got the date in there as well. And it has military time if you look at it really closely. Does it? So, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it has it the hashes. Have, it does have military. Oh, it's on the inside. It's on the inside. Yeah. 13, 14, 15, yeah. uh, 15, 16. I have 15, actually. It's 15. Look at that. Yeah. So this is Swiss <laughs> made. And, and you know, if you know the uh, the rules about Swiss made, I think 60% of the value has to be made in Switzerland. Is that which is like a weird kind of thing because yeah, they I'm, can assemble it somewhere, but if 60% of the value of it is from Swiss was put products, to, yeah, it then they get have, away with that. Let's see. Is it a... Swiss military watch movement. This is the same movement that I have in mind, isn't it? Yes, that's a, um, what, 28, 24? Something like that. ETA yeah. or ETA, ETA, as you like to say. It's an ETA movement. So, now, when you look up the, when you, when I look up the value of that watch, I'm gonna just, this is totally unscripted, so we've got some things here. When we look up the value of it, even on eBay, there's things where, let's see right here, like 369. I know, Babyface, you looked at, this is not exactly the same one, but it's very red close. Strap, yeah. Yeah, we've got the black, uh, the black strap, strap. Uh, black rubber, and then silver face with the green mm -hmm. um, indices on there. But this is going for, like, what is it? Um, They're buying, asking uh, 369. But yeah. they also have make an offer, so. Right. So that's, I remember when this came and you looked it up, you said, hey, you know what? At least it's worth the 300 bucks. I think it's worth, I think it's worth what you pay for it. Yeah. I don't think you're getting any crazy deal off of this one. No, but here's the thing. I think I did get a good watch. I think what happened with the value is because what happens with uh, with Watch Gang is they send these out, and then if people don't like them, they flood the market with these. Yeah. Because the way that Watch Gang's working is that they have buying power. Mm -hmm. So they'll go to these companies and, and buy want a thousand of yeah, these exactly. at a time. Yeah, and they get a good deal. But if people get the watch and go, ah, oh, I don't like this. Straight to this, Yeah, selling it on eBay and they just want to get their subscription money back. Yeah. Which brings down the value of it. So this one, I, I would say, comes out at even, worth what it is. It's a great watch. It is auto. You can see the, if you look closely at the hands moving there, you get a nice... Uh, yeah, sweep second. Yeah, you get a there nice you sweep of the hand. I think that's nice. The loom, let's test the loom. So we're in broad daylight, and we're going to test the loom here. Hold on, let me make sure it's focused on it. Oh, you're going to wipe it out? Go. Yeah. So there you go. I'm not There's sure if you one. can even tell. It does yeah, illuminate. Me, actually, let me go. I'm going to go scoot, to... Scoot wait, yeah, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm going to go to uh, to the manual focus for a second here and focus in on it. Now you're too close. Yeah, too, way too close. Okay, go. there we go. So scoot, scoot to the side real quick. I'm going to illuminate real close. Yeah. All right. And boom. There it is. Now there you go. Good. So the loom is nicely on the hands and some other yeah. places there. I think, you know, you can't you can't knock that. No. So I think overall this was worth it. It's a good watch. Um, I think it's worth it's 300 bucks. got some bucks. decent features. Yeah. I think it's worth the 300 bucks. 
And for us, we're like, uh, we're automatic snobs. Yeah, I like automatics. I've all, I always like all yeah. those. And that's a good value to get a Swiss-made automatic watch. 300 bucks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's so. a good deal. Yeah. And Swiss military has, uh, it's been out there for a while. They do a couple of different things. They make a bunch of different watches. So that one, I would say, comes out even. So the second one that came is the Laco, which I've, um, you know, it's a German it watch. L-A-C-O? Laco? Yeah. Laco. Okay, it is Laco. Yeah. So there you go. It's uh, the Laco Neptune, and it is also now it's no. German. This isn't the Neptune. This is Spirit. I'm sorry, of, Neptune. What Spirit of Saint Louis. Spirit of Saint Louis. Excuse me. Yeah. So Laco is a German company, and they make pilot watches. This is a pilot watch right here. So bigger, you know, indices, mm -hmm. and it's got a small seconds hand in there. You can't see right now because we're at yeah. noon. Yeah. Yeah. We're literally at noon. Oh, it is. Yeah. And uh, when I look this up, so let's. Uh, Let's flip over here for a second and see what uh, what is on the interwebs about the uh, Laco Spirit of St. Louis. There's lots of different things here. I'll try to cut you guys in. Um, right now, it looks like Newegg is selling it for five forty nine. That's a good deal. Um, here's another place selling it for five nineteen. You know, um, Laco. I've seen videos and things like that on them. I see Chrono uh, twenty four selling it for six. If you, if you can go in here real their, close, 675. Their whole, their whole thing here is all in German, too, so I can't read it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a German watch? No, no. Both of these are in German. Yeah. So I think that's cool. I think this is no, a... This one's American. This is a known... Like, I actually saw videos on this. If you look up Laco, they make some cool watches. They were at Basel World and all that kind of stuff. So they're, they're a big company. They're not some little nobody. No. And I think the watch is over the value, over the $300. And I'd say a little bit. I'd say a little bit. I, I yeah. to me, out of the three, this is my favorite. Yeah, I like the 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 uh, the strap on this is um, a textile. Uh, it's textile and it's the uh, the NATO style. Yes. Right? Yes. And I like that. It's got like a black back. It's finished. It's got like a PVC yep. finish on it's it. It's hardened, yeah. kind of like a, a hardened dark finish. Non uh, non reflective, as far as I can tell, it's right. very matte finish. Yeah, I think this is a cool watch. It looks I, different. It's I like this. See out right. of out of all the three that you got, this is my favorite. Yeah. Um, because you can wear this dressed up, dressed down every day of the week. You yeah. don't have to. It's not like a fancy watch or anything. Yeah. And I like a dark face and everything like yeah. that. So I think yep. that's. I think that was a pretty cool watch. A step up. One of the things I would say that with Watch Gang is when you first join the first month they kind of send you a leftover watch. So that's what happened with the Swiss military from the previous month. Was it previous month? Yeah. So then when you go to the second month now in the subscription, you get they bump, the new. Yeah, it's it's uh, part of like the business plan to maintain what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, like maintain people subscribing, right? Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, if you got an awesome watch the first time, what would you do? <laughs> you just go like, oh, I'm going to cancel this membership. I, I guess, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So the second time they bumped it up a little bit. I think the Laco was really is a really really cool watch. Mm -hmm. And then we let's go to the third time, which was last month, and that's a D1 Milano. I think this so is Hank's favorite. There it goes right there. Um, and we we should probably go back to the Laco for a second and do the loom test on there. Oh, I just oh, realized that has no. This, this has, has no, no loom. So let's do the loom test. And by the way, we're using this is an Olite X7R has the power of the sun <laughs> <laughs> basically so hold on let's see and uh let's see take it off of there you could you guys could probably see the loom on a little there. bit it's yeah. not quite as bright so the loom to me is around the indices and it's on the hands it's even dark in it. there you go yeah there so you, you can you still can see, see it. it it's still holding on to that without, light. The, without the light on it you can see yeah it. so i think that's pretty good that's pretty good so now let's go to the d1 milano because this is actually my favorite <laughs> Okay. Take, it, take it off the. It's yeah. got a nice you pillow. Like you don't comes like comes on a very nice pillow. Babyface, not a fan of this watch. This watch too, is confusing the babyface. It's too retro styled for me. I think that's you don't like it. Okay, too retro. So that's actually what I like about. This. I know it's I, like a it's like a Genta kind of design. It looks like a eighties maybe. Well, it looks like a Audemars uh, PJ. Um, Royal Oak or something. You know, it has that kind of octagonal face on it and i like that i think that came out in the 70s the maybe it's a 70s look okay. yeah those are more expensive this this was styled the design and everything was done by an italian company mm -hmm. and the movement is japanese yes it's a uh, miyota movement, yeah it's a miyota movement the laco had a uh, i'm guessing that's a german automatic movement in there. i don't know that, that the up. germans make a whole yeah. lot of movements we should look that up and, yeah, and we'll see exactly see. what it is 
But I really, I really like this because it's skeletonized and it's a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the industrial look of this. It was it's made also, in China. It's also got a clear back. Yeah, it's got the uh, display back in it. These are made in China? Yes. Yes. Made in the PRC. I don't know if you can see it on there. Doesn't but there's a lot of cool features in this watch. And by the way, <clears throat> these, the D1 Milano, let's go to the website here really quick. So, um, from the from their store, it's about eight forty nine, and um, that was really the only place you could see it. I don't think they're really out there I, anymore. I think these people are the the people that got these are keeping them because they don't seem to be on eBay at all. Um, maybe not. I know that when they first came out, when I first got that, there were a couple of people that were selling them for the three hundred bucks. Yeah. Again, like I said, and I thought to myself, man. I should I should get like another one of those just to, remember I was telling you so we could modify it yeah we can we make our own yeah mess around <laughs> with it and do some stuff but that's actually my favorite and it, once again like I said the value of it bumped up a little bit I don't even think that D1 Milano has any of these available anymore when I went to their website it's not on there so I would say overall we the the value of what you're paying for you get I think these so. Things. Do you I want to put so. the light on that? Here's some... there's no loom. Yeah, it's really, it's gonna be it's gonna hold on. Let's actually Wash use it a smaller out. light, just so people can see that. Obviously, there's no loom on it, but you can if you put the light underneath there, let's, you can see the light yeah. bleed through. It's you skeletonized. Yeah. Too close. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So you can see that light bleed through there, and that's what makes it interesting to me. I think if you look at this really close, you can see, it's one of the things that I like about a mechanical watch. You can see the watch is almost like alive. It's beating. Mm -hmm. That's why, kind of that's thing. one thing that I like about mechanicals more than quartz movements. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. Those are the three watches. We're gonna get, get into our opinions really quick. Another thing we forgot, like I said, this is unscripted. Wristwatch check. I am wearing, what am I wearing? My a watch. Tutor. This is a Tudor. <laughs> Uh, it goes it goes really well with my hat. Yeah, this is a Tudor Black Bay bronze <laughs> <laughs> that I'm wearing, and you're uh, Hamilton as always. Got a Hamilton every day. Yeah, absolutely. You want to check the loom? Let's check the loom on those, just to show you guys like, the, like what loom should look like. Go ahead, boom. There you go. Can you see that? Stand. That's pretty good. That's decent. Oh, wait, wait, That's gotta, decent. Got to cover it. There you there go. There you go. There you go. That's decent loom. Okay, let's one. check it on this. I think this is gonna be the king of the loom. There you go. Look at that. That's practically a nightlight. <laughs> um, so there is, there is value in loom. They loom the crap out of the Tudor. If you could, if we could go back though and get the good stuff back in the twenties and thirties when they were using uh, radium, the, painting radium. The irradiated. <laughs> yeah, the irradiated. Stuff. That killed probably mutated some yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> Last like ten thousand years. Yeah. So let's so let's talk about this now between the two you know the two of us we're watch guys we're mm -hmm. not I'm not like a super expert on watches you a little bit been, yeah a little bit uh, my my family owns a watch shop so I know a little bit about watches yeah um, and you understand movements you know what you yeah, like yeah yeah I've rebuilt I've rebuilt a, a watch before yeah or, so what do you well, I I my cousin helped me he's a watchmaker and oh, okay. he helped me rebuild a watch oh, so. okay yeah I wouldn't um, even try to rebuild a it's, watch it's crazy it, yeah. the, Parts are so tight. It's, it's yeah. insane. For the professionals. Yeah. Or Tyvan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Tyvan took a Rolex apart. <laughs> now it's in pieces. Yeah. Just send us those pieces to that Rolex. That's right. I'll fix it for you. Yeah. <laughs> we can get that back together. <laughs> and then together. I'll wear it. <laughs> exactly. So now, what do you think about this overall? Do you I think it's, would not Do you invest. think watch gangs... So you don't... You think watch gangs are ripoff? I don't think it's a ripoff. No. I think you okay. get what you pay for. it. But you have to be the type of person that's willing to wear a bunch of different watches. For me... When I buy a watch, I buy something extremely specific. Like right. I, you know I what shop, you want. I shop for my watch for a yes. while. I'll save up for it if I have to, and then I'll buy that one watch. Right. Um, like right now, the the two main watches I have a, a Tag Heuer, and I have my Hamilton. Those are the only two watches I wear. Right. Um, and my next watch is going to be that one. When I can save up enough to, to buy one, I'm going to get one of the Black Bay bronze yeah. watches. Yeah. Um, and we talk but, about this kind of stuff all the time. We're both gun guys, yeah. but we also like watches. Yeah. So I think, I think it goes with the territory. Yeah. I, I like the fact that they're mechanical things and, and very intricate mechanical mm -hmm. things at yeah. that. But, you know. but I'm not the type that wants to just get some random $300 watch in the mail. Right. I want to pick my very specific watch mm -hmm. and wear that one watch. 
Yeah. Um, well, and I think here, here's the thing. Like, I know, I also know what I want, but I think this is not a bad thing if you want, if you enjoy discovery. Yeah. So yeah, I'm that kind of person. If you don't mind being surprised with something that you may or may not like, mm-hmm. I, th- I say go for it. Um, also, you like if you never heard of these, you can go research them and you yeah. can find out things, and it helps. For me, the reason why I did it is because I was out of the watch game for a while. I've always been into watches, mm-hmm. and I dropped out of the watch game for a while, and then I was like, you know what? I need to do something to crash course myself into it. <laughs> and plus, I wanted to find out whether or not Watch Gang was a good idea. I like the idea of subscription model based things. Mm-hmm. There's people that have knives like that, clothing. All kinds of See, things. See, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't do a knife one either because I'm really particular with what I about want. What you want? Yeah, I, I have what I like, and I, I kind of, especially with knives, I kind of stick to it. And when I see a knife that I like, I'm really, I really, really like, mm-hmm. I will go and, and pick yeah. it up. I, I think it depends on what kind of person you are. I know because I, this is why I agree with you partly because if I go to a restaurant, I, I know exactly yeah, what I, I want, want. I want this. Yeah, when <laughs> I get there. But if you are the kind of person that wants to discover things. And you want to be surprised, and you're the kind of person that would go to a restaurant and ask the waitress, like, what would you get or mm-hmm. what do you recommend? And then you enjoy that kind of adventure. I think this is I, it, This is great for you. I yeah. really think so. Um, we obviously went with the high end. Um, yeah. So they have different tiers. Uh, to me, looking, I'd have to look at the $30 tier. That might be more in line with, I'm willing to gamble 30 bucks more mm-hmm. than I'm willing to gamble 300 Right. So maybe for me, the 30 bucks, I'd be like, oh, there's something cool came in the middle. Yeah. The and big, then if I don't like it, just give it away to somebody. The big lore of uh, Watch Gang is that every month they give away a Rolex, and they also give away an Omega. Yeah, I would love yeah. to have an Omega, but <laughs> the odds of getting that. Yeah. Now, lots of people say with this, like, hey, if you're going to spend $300 a month in, in like, 10 months, that's literally $3,000, $3,600 in a year. Yeah, you can buy um, don't a vintage do it for Rolex that. or something. Don't do it to try to get the, the Rolex. It's just, that's like gambling on the lottery. Don't don't waste your time with that. Yeah. If you want to do this, get it because you want the adventure of buying, yeah. of having a, a, a new and interesting watch come in the mail yeah. once a month. And if you like that, if you're like, listen, I can change my watch every day. I don't mm-hmm. care. I can do some different things. If I don't like it, I can sell it i say do it i do not think it's a ripoff i think no. we got stuff that's worth the value you, i didn't cancel yet we're gonna get one more um you get how that you is. get your value yeah for the at the base level from what i can tell you get your value and then every month you might get something that might be a little bit more than that mm-hmm. but you're the lowest you got you you could sell it conceivably and get your money back yeah so. and then here's the other thing i found out like there's so many good deals and uh bargains out there and there's cool vintage stuff mm-hmm. so probably what i'm gonna do now is go in to getting some of the older more vintage things trying to that's, find cool that's watches what I, that's what i'm yeah that's what i like um yeah i'll have to bring in my watch collection i get a couple really cool yeah. old ones we should do that and show yeah. like what you have and what i have i've got some stuff of a head from back in the days and then I've been collecting things lately. So I'm going to get into doing that. And probably after this next one, I may cancel it. Unless the next mm-hmm. one's really awesome. Unless but, you get the Rolex next Yeah, one. see, that's the dream. If that's the, the Rolex, hook. <laughs> I can call dibs. Damn you. <laughs> Damn you. See, he knows I have to, like, he obey the, the dibs, dibs law. That's Damn right. It. He lives by the dibs. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd have to do that. So here's the last thing that we're going to do here before we get back to work. So, um, if you guys have been looking at my channel, you've seen Rashad and you've seen Gabe, the Filipino prince. I don't know what we're calling Rashad. We're just calling, we're just, he, we call him Sade. He calls himself Sade. Sade. So, I'm going to let them choose, but I'm going to, I'm going first. Yes. I'm going first because right. this is a problem uh, here. So, I'm going to choose which one of these watches I like the most. And here, I'm, see, Sade, he's getting excited he's, he's there. Way too excited. And Gabe is here already. I'm going to choose the D1 Milano, yeah. man. That's, <laughs> I knew it. That's what. <laughs> That's what I'm choosing. This one, I'm definitely holding on to. So, did you guys decide who's choosing next? You want Wait, to play a coin? Wait, let me convince you first. Let's see. Yeah. I think oh, you're going to try to convince me out of that? I think we should play a game of tic-tac-toe for that watch. There it is. <laughs> I Representing. Think not. I think not. I don't think so. All right. So, this is, this is out of the drawing. <laughs> yeah, that one's out. Not willing to do it. I want that watch. What are you, are you going with, Rashad? That's my favorite. So, here's the other two. Well, which one of you is going first? This is the thing. Do you guys want to flip a coin? Well, I thought we already oh, you're decided gonna do rock, paper, which scissors? one we wanted. Okay, fine. You both want the same one? Oh, no. no not really. Ha! All right. Wait, okay. two out of three. Ha! Two out of three. Is it two out of three? Two out of three, man. Oh, you boy. said. Okay, so you got one. Oh, tied up. Oh, hold on. Oh. 
Oh, okay, Rashad's okay. going up. Okay, all right. Rashad. Champion! Oh, what are you picking? What are you picking? These are good watches, man. These are right. worth it. We already went through all of that. Right. Which one would you choose? The Swiss... Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah. He likes the nice okay, watches. Need a... Why? Tell us why. Why do you like that one? And and this is from a guy who's wearing an, uh, an Apple, Apple watch. watch. Yeah, I'm switching it up. I'm switching up the game. Why did you choose that, man? If you guys turn the lights off, this thing lights up. Yeah, you like the look. <laughs> yeah, you like yeah the that's that one. that's okay. really cool. It lights yeah. up and it makes my wrist look more powerful. It's a nice watch, and you're a stylish guy. I like you know. I think it. Like you know what's funny person. is I feel like the three watches that are being divvied out right now fit fit each of your personalities <laughs> whoa, whoa, perfectly. Whoa, whoa. In my yeah. defense, the one that fit my personality <laughs> just got excluded out of here. <laughs> Oh, excluded. Oh, 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 look at that. Sponsored. I would excluded. Yeah, you know? yeah but, but listen, man. This this also this also fits my style. Do you see so. that? Oh, me? I oh. You know, I think it's... You see that? That would make me look like... Uh, yeah, Rashad yeah. Would, would wear that one pretty Yeah, long. you one, would. You would. So, Gabe, you're up. So, so one Gabe, cool thing about this is it's de it's like background... I, what do you call it? The face? The face, yeah. Texture, yeah. yeah the yeah, texture is really style. nice. It's like a pearly texture, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. cool. So now, it fits so Gabe, the Miami style. Yeah. So, Gabe, you, know you get left with the Laco. Are you okay with that? Is I'm not disappointed. No, I really it looks, like it. It's going to look really good. It's very, you know... It's very, very streamlined. Yep, this is the Gabe, moment right here. Gabe, it's put going on, yeah, on. there you go. Put it on. Let's see, throw those on. I think, I think that's a good. That's a really cool watch, Gabe. I think you're gonna like that. It, 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 it looks. It, are, it already fits like you a driver Mercedes. I guess so. Things. Yeah, I mean. You know? That, that, was, that fits good with. Look at that. Uh, that looks good on your wrist. It does. It looks really good. And I yeah. usually wear like. How'd you, you, I, push how'd you, how'd you right put there. that on that fast? D -d -d baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Now you got like little skinny wrists. Uh, that's what. Big old watch on it. Uh, let's go. All in. Look, this is gonna be on his uh, <laughs> Instagram in about his, ten minutes. Yeah, on his IG <laughs> in like ten. He, it's already on his yeah, IG. Wait, I don't flip, know how. Flip it over. Flip it over. Flip it over. Oh. This goes up. Like oh, that, yep. so the band isn't just flopping in the wind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> watch culture. Go. Now it's it like. Looks good, man. It looks go. really good on you. That's really cool, man. Looks like I got I some like that. some and bling on. I know. Yeah, and that's your watch. I got that's some bling on. From the Hank Strain situation. Is it? Is it too late to kind of negotiate the other? <laughs> one? No, no, no. It's hey, not man, happening. No. Forget about the other one. It doesn't one. exist. You got a good watch. Okay, Gabe. Let's see. Let's so look at yeah, that. this one's very streamlined. I like to. You know, wear business casual too, yeah, and it so fits it, fits it very well. Yeah, you can both wear of, that with a suit. Both of these watches are sapphire crystal too, so yes. that's a very good value right yeah. there. <laughs> you have a nice watch. It's like selling. It's like QVC yeah. up in Once here. again, can we negotiate? QVC. He's not giving up. He's not giving up <laughs> on that D1 Milano. Oh. Pass, pass it to me. Pass it I to can't. me. You're gonna see it. No, don't even. Don't like, even. Look, just, at, just look, at, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's so all right. There nice. you go. So here's the thing that I'm saying. Here's the last thing I want to say. Let's see if we can get us all in here. Ah. Right there. There you go. Okay. So ah. here's the thing I want to say. I think Watch Gang is not bad. The worst case, if you get watches that you don't like, you don't want to sell them, Bam. you can give them away to people. Yeah, there and you they go. Enjoy it. Give it to the Hank Strange. <laughs> Bam. Absolutely. Or you can sell it, do whatever <laughs> you want to do. Look at all my bling. Yeah. <laughs> bling. <laughs> We're going to do other watch reviews, so stay bling. tuned to the channel. We're out of here. Don't forget to uh, like and comment, share this video with your friends, and then also register on HankStrange.tv. Put, go put in your email. That's a way to keep in touch with with me. We're going to give away stuff. We might give away some watches sure. on the channel in the future. Future. The Rolex should, is next. We should do the thirty dollar yeah. one and give it away. Absolutely. Maybe maybe that's a good idea. Blame. We might do that. We're out of here. Blame. Peace. <laughs>